In today's video, we see if I can add a few modern touches to a 1983 Porsche 944. Spoiler alert, not everything works. Sometimes I can't help myself and I get into situations like this where I have the entire dash taken out of the Porsche in an attempt to modernize things. I've gotten so used to my new Tundra with Apple CarPlay and remote start and keyless entry that I just decided the Porsche needs that as well. So I bought, quite frankly, the cheapest uh, near field communication keyless entry and remote start and the cheapest CarPlay radio. And I pulled the dash out and poorly fixed the cracks, but definitely looks better than it did. Don't look too close right there. Uh, I'm probably gonna sand it down a little bit and put a little bit, another coat on it because there are some runs. You won't see these in the car unless you're really paying attention, but uh, yeah, I mostly just wanted to fill the cracks. Yeah, that looks terrible. So I should definitely sand it one more time. Uh, now that I'm filming it and actually looking at it, it looks pretty terrible, but it didn't look great to start, so. Test run with the pad filler did okay. So some of these other cracks are kind of bulged. Uh, so I'm gonna use my Dremel to knock those down and uh, then fill them. So like, yeah, you can see that one is kind of crowned. I wanted to repair the cracks and they were very hard to get to. So I pulled the dash out, um, which is over there. Where are we at? I have the ignition pulled off and uh, that has the steering lock in it. I want to keep things as, uh, I want to be able to put things back the way they were if I don't like these cheap things that I bought. So I'm going to uh, just tap into the back of the ignition, leave the steering lock off so that uh, I don't have to put a key in the, in the car. And I'm working on wiring the stereo at the moment. I need to get some door poppers and um, yeah, I don't know what else, but uh, things are moving along. I haven't been filming a ton. Mostly it was just tear down so far. And then now I'm working on wiring up the stereo. I've got a rear camera on order. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to plug in the uh, remote start and just test things out. And we'll see how it goes. And then I have to put everything back together and do it nicely. So not looking forward to that, but decision's already made at this point. I was hoping there'd be a good spot to put the wires for the backup camera. There is not. I was tempted to replace the locks and uh, put a little popper solenoid and put the camera here. Um, but I think with it being on an angle, it'd be hard to find a camera that would work um, with that hole and angle and everything. So I'm just going to drill a hole through the top there and put a little rubber grommet in. So it'll keep the water out and I don't have to do anything crazy. Um, I just got one of the license plate frame cameras. So we'll get that taken care of. I had to drill a hole a little bit bigger than I anticipated to get um, the yellow through first and then the red one um, kind of side by side with the cable. Anyway, I put a bigger grommet in, which I, I originally was trying to use this one, but uh, it's too small for the hole once I had to enlarge it for the plugs. But I split it down the middle and made it easier to get in and then I'll uh, put a little sealant on it, but it'll look nice once it's, once it's there. I'm gonna leave everything loose for the moment so I can get everything wired up and tested. So I'll run the 
cable and the power and get it going. Okay, following these wonderfully written Chinese directions, I have uh, the ignition temporarily hooked up for testing purposes. Got, it requires the brake pedal, oil pump, and parking brake. So that's what the purple is for the parking brake to ground, oil pump, and foot brake to positive. And then when I engage the brake, I can start the engine. Only problem is, it doesn't want to stop. So I gotta figure that out. Instructions showed a bunch of ways to hook it up and uh, I tried everything I could think of um, and just decided I couldn't spend any more time messing around with it. Well, unfortunately I've given up on the uh, push button start. I could have put a uh, kill switch on the power, but I don't know, who knows what else might fail on it. So I'd rather just go back to a key. Uh, so the journey of putting the dash back in has begun. I just uh, slid it in. I thought it was actually gonna be a lot harder than it was, so I didn't film it. But uh, there you go, dash is back in, uh, just loose at the moment. So I'll start bolting it up, get the wiring tucked away. You can see the interior while I was out. I went ahead and rhino lined it. A couple primered spots there that I need to touch up uh, where the rhino liner wasn't sticking. It's not a great job, but not too many people are actually even going to see the interior yeah, or under the floor mats and seats anyway. Um, so at least it's all a solid color for now. All right, the interior is pretty much done. Seats are back in. Some new floor mats from Lloyd mats that nice little fit and they have the hooks so they don't slide up. Stereo is installed and working other than the fact that I have video playing on my phone. Microphone is tucked up under here and this is gonna get installed. Might need two hands to do this. All right, uh, these broke when I was pulling them out on both sides. These were brown, as were these, so I have those being painted. Uh, the visors, sun visors, are in terrible shape, but I went ahead and dyed them black as well. So those will go back in. And that's it then. I'm in the home stretch of bolting on the last of the interior parts that I have, including this little beauty ring that goes up on the front where the sun visors are. When I got the car, I didn't have the sun visor clips and I managed to find some 3D printed versions that fit nicely and even color match. Uh, also, I have no idea what I, this is 944 something. I don't remember what it goes to or why I printed it. And then I printed this dash on the off chance that I was gonna put the remote start and maybe move the gauges around, but this must be for a later model because it doesn't fit the early 944. Oh well. I think the uh, MPG gauge suddenly started working once I cleaned everything up. Good oil pressure, assuming that's accurate. And backup camera. Alright, with the exception of the little inner trim piece that's on order from eBay, the interior is done. This originally had the tan interior, the previous owner ripped it out. And so it's got all black interior now. Some of the tan parts will come with it. That center console uh, has seen better days, so could be replaced at some point. Uh, the vent is missing as well, but all the dash cracks have been repaired. Apple CarPlay, wireless, also Android Auto singled in deck Sparco seats
went ahead and uh, cleaned up the fin too and replaced these screws so oiled it up so it's nice and clean and flexible and hopefully protected and then uh, made sure all the seals were aligned and nothing was leaking there's a box full of goodies new bearings new sensor um, new motor mounts the old headlights the clear lenses you can see the damage got the uh, a service manual that goes with it, the original owner's manual and warranty information. Warranty is probably void at this point. Pretty sure that's 106,000 miles. I did the uh, steering wheel need to be pulled and rotated one screw uh, counterclockwise. AC doesn't work, but I think it just needs to be recharged. Everything else does. Pretty mad. I lost the little fastened seat belt jewel at some point, hoping I will still find it. But there you go, interior done. I think that's about as far as I'm gonna take this project. So I've got it up for sale. Um, I'm including everything that I have with it. Hopefully it'll all go at the same time. I did buy a complete second engine and I pulled the cam tower off. My plan was to powder coat it and then uh, machine off the lettering. So uh, it's already sandblasted and cleaned up, ready to be powder coated essentially. Uh, there's the intake, the cams there. Um, I've also got uh, just a box full of miscellaneous parts, some headlight covers off either those are bare steel or maybe they were off of a silver car i'm not sure um this box just full of miscellaneous stuff new fuel pump um some of the interior pieces nuts and bolts miscellaneous hardware uh extra set of door cards extra set of fans uh like i said there's the exhaust and the intake i've got a set of um, the phone dial wheels that will go with it. And, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps things up. Um, hopefully I'll be able to move on back to some of my other projects here very soon. Um, getting some room back in the garage is kind of critical. But there you go. That is the 1983 Porsche 944. Uh, if this were a turbo model or didn't have the body damage. Might take a little further than I am, but here you go. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching.